good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode in our Gliders 2.0 lessons. Today, we're going to be working on mastering that lift efficiency ratio. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to get into Gliders 2.0, hit that research tab, move on down to where they teach us about lift. Make sure you read this carefully because lift is what gets you up in the air and keeps you flying. It is not a ton of reading, but it is important reading, so make sure you read it carefully, trying to get these so they are stuck in your head, and then you can use them as you build your wing. So we've got special things like the leading edge, the mean camber, the upper camber, the lower camber, and the cord where the cord is the distance all the way across the wing make sure you've got that stored because we use that with our formulas in a minute they also talk about the mechanical forces that go by and how the higher pressure under the wing yields higher forces and so on and so forth finally they get to the lift efficiency and they talk about the lift efficiency ratio LER where you take the wings planar area or the wing area and you divide it by the glider weight once you've read through all this, there is a project where we do the worksheet for lift efficiency. Before we do that, let's actually add it to our formulas so that way we're more successful. Get into your Google spreadsheet from the other day. Mine was called FS Calc. You could have picked a different name for it. So to use the lift efficiency rating, we need to know the wing's planar area and the glider weight. To calculate the lift efficiency, the first thing we need to find is the wing's planar area. So we do wing area equals the span, which is the measurement from tip to tip, times the cord. I'm going to put in a make-believe plane here. If my span was 0.215, and the cord was 0 0.052. We could calculate it by simply doing equals, clicking on the first number, hitting that time sign, clicking on the last number. So we have F12 times G12. And when we press enter, the wing area for this fictitious craft would be 0 0.01 meters squared. With your wing area solved, we can move down. And let's calculate the lift efficiency ratio. Once again, it's just wing area, so we can put the WA, and we can put the glider weight. I'm going to type in the wing area from our fictitious craft, uh, 0 0.01118. And then I'm going to just tell you that this fictitious plane is 0 0.061 newtons. And then we can add our formula, simply hit equals, and once again... We click on the first cell, so this is important. We do the wing planar area first, and this time we're going to use the divided by key, and we're dividing by the glider weight. When we press enter, and our lift efficiency rating for that fictitious wing would be 0.18. Let's make this look a little more spiffy by taking those three cells and merging them, so now they're one. Let's type in lift efficiency rating, and let's also center it since I had my screen squished, that's why I had to search down here for the center button. And I'm also going to fill that in with a light color so it's just a little easier to find where I do those things. I'm going to also merge this one. I'm going to center it as well. And up here, I'm going to label it wing area. Another neat trick while we're doing the spreadsheets is I can copy this formatting right here. And then I'm going to copy this formatting or this whole piece and I'm going to put it down here where I finally did my weight as well. And when I double click, I'm going to call this one glider weight. All right, friends, so now that you've got the little calculator, you can use the numbers in these questions in your calculator so you can solve it and get better results. And later when you make your own glider, you can get better results as well. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.